Hello, this is Steven from Online Unlocks and in this video we present two of the best routing tools available now. Both are one-click root tools, so very easy to use, safe and very powerful. I'm talking about VRoot and Kingo Root. In this video we'll do some testing and uh, at the end you will see what uh, is the best routing tool available in my opinion. But of course both are very good and uh, especially for those that root phones every day, I recommend to have them both. Let's start by downloading the software. The links to the tools can be found in the written tutorial about the two programs and uh, the link for that is below this video. Save both of the programs to your desktop to be easier to get to them and install them. Also, besides the two programs, we'll uh, need a Samsung driver in case you don't have those installed already so your phone will be detected by the PC I have them uh, installed but to show you how it's done we'll reinstall it's no problem in doing that the downloads should be ready now well at least the Samsung drivers are since the Samsung server is the fastest so we'll begin and uh, install the drivers reinstall them like I said it's very simple you just have to press next and uh, the rest will be done by itself, you can leave it like that. We'll go and install the next downloaded application, it's Kingo Root. It's uh, also on a faster server for us, because uh, VRoot is a Chinese application, maybe it's faster to download if you live in China, but for now we'll just install Kingo Root and hopefully it will be ready until this is done. As you see in both applications are really easy to install, just have to press next. Also, since the Samsung drivers are almost done, let's verify if the download is ready. Yes, we can begin and install it. Some uh, antivirus may find the root as a threat because it's a routing ap application, but uh, I can guarantee you that it doesn't do any harm to your PC. I will open Device Manager so I can see when uh, Samsung is detected by my PC. It should show there as a ADB device. In case uh, the program doesn't detect uh, your phone, must verify first if it's detected by the PC. We'll start by routing using VRoot since it's already open. After it's detected, you just have to press root and uh, everything else will be done by itself. The phone I am routing now is a Galaxy S2 with uh, Jelly Beam 4.1. We'll use the exact same phone when routing with uh, Kingo Root. As you've seen, VRoot done its job really quick. The phone is already routed. So I'll just unroute it and uh, we'll move on and try to root with uh, Kingo Root to see if it works the same way. Just have to open VRoot now and uh, connect your phone. Wait until it's detected may take a bit because first when you open the root it's synchronizing with the server after the application version is shown in the right lower part of the program the program will also show the root button just have to press it like i did and wait because uh, will take a bit in my case took about uh, three or four minutes for the same version galaxy s2 on jelly bean 4.1 I speeded things up for you so you can see the result. As you can see, Kingo Root also rooted successfully. So until now, is a tie. Even if uh, with Kingo Root took a bit longer, both rooted successfully. Android 4.1. So we have to do things a bit more difficult so we can have a definite result. For that, I put Android 4.4.2 with the custom firmware, but I unrooted it and uh, let's see if uh, any of the programs can uh, root this firmware successfully. We'll also start by vroot and see how it performs this time. On newest versions of Android, developer options is not uh, shown as usual, it's hidden. And to uncover it, you have to go to settings, about, and tap 7 to 10 times on the build number. Afterwards, the developer options will show in settings and can go there and put USB debugging on. Then uh, connect your phone to the PC and wait until it's detected by vroot. Then simply press root. 
This time the root couldn't finish the root in just a few seconds like before, but anyway, the root remains a great option, especially for DLEB or lower firmware, because the root is done in just a few moments. Also, it was needed a phone reboot and took about two or three minutes. That's why I had to speed things up so you can see the results. Fortunately, like you will see in a few moments, the root was not able to root this firmware. So we'll just have to see if Kingo root will root this successfully. Let's try with Kingo root. Open it like before. Wait till the device is detected by Kingo root and just press root and hopefully we'll root it successfully. Even if the root couldn't root this firmware, I still use it for older firmware because it's a very fast way of rooting phones has happened in some cases after losing a lot of time trying to root some phones with other methods to root it successfully with vroot in just a few seconds so i totally recommend it this time Kingo root took even longer than first time four or five minutes phone rebooted it also but as you can see the root is successful so i can totally declare Kingo root as the best one click root tool available Please try both root tools, let us know if they worked okay for you and if you need any help or have any other questions, please leave a comment below or contact us at onlineunlock.com. Thank you very much.